sudden death came out of the blue onto a residential block in Norfolk, Virginia. A naval refueling plane plowed into some houses. It killed two babies and injured their mother. All four of the aircraft crew also lost their lives. For some reason, mechanical fault or pilot's error, the plane couldn't reach the nearby airfield. Prompt fire brigade action averted what could have been a widespread fire. When the firemen could get amongst the debris, they brought out the grim human remains. The tragedy adds one more to the toll of crashes on the fringes of aerodromes. Regulus II, a guided missile designed to fire from submarines, was launched from a test ship. In real combat, Regulus would have an atomic warhead. It shows once again that science will be very much at the controls if ever there's another war. All preparations for launching were viewed on TV screens. Once fired, the missile can be guided from the mothership or from an aircraft, or by its own instruments. The missile costs one and a half million dollars, so taxpayers will be glad to know it can be recovered after each test. In Oswego, New York State, winter outdid itself and simply swamped the place in Christmas atmosphere. With a few breaks, it snowed for six days. Far and away the worst fall anybody in this town of 23,000 population ever remembers. The schools had to close and so did many businesses. People just couldn't get to work. All this before winters really started in this part of the world. In Oswego, they're hoping against hope it won't be a white Christmas. <laughs>